Hey guys, and here we are back with another one. And as promised, here we are with the Xiaomi Notebook Air 13 inches Akintosh. And this video is sponsored by NordVPN, a VPN service available for almost any platform with servers in 56 countries at an affordable price. Check out the link below for more details. And we are back. So a few weeks ago, guys, we shared here on the channel the installation guide for the Xiaomi Notebook Pro 15 inches, link down below. And I did start to test out this notebook here with the files that we used on the Xiaomi Notebook Pro. Now, regardless to say that not everything worked, it was a good start, but I didn't have any uh, keyboard touchpads, I didn't have sounds, I had some graphic issues, so things were not that pleasant. So what I had to do was to trial and error until I've got the uh, uh, book air, as you will have the chance to see, working really well, at least the best that I could. Nonetheless, I would like to a huge thumbs up to Dalyansky, which was the person that put all the files together for the previous video. Uh, all the credits will be down below as well. My work here was just to modify the files so that it could work fine on this computer right over here. And at this moment, dual booting with Windows and Mac OS in a really great manner. Now, after all these modifications, as I was saying, it's working the best that I could. And the EFI folder will be down below so that you guys, if you want to install it on your computer, it has to be the same model. So a link down below for the exact model that I'm using right over here. This is the latest uh, book air, notebook air that Xiaomi released, 13 inches at least. So link down below for that. Link down below also for uh, the installation guide, which is exactly the same as we did for the Notebook Pro. So the only thing that you guys will need to do is to follow up the guide of the Notebook Pro, but using the EFI folder that I will leave on this video description so that you guys can use it and have a clean installation. And I'll show you some images there regarding the installation here on the Xiaomi Notebook Air 13 inches really easy after we, we have all the necessary files of course it was a bit of a headache to be honest but once everything is working any of you guys will be able to have this computer working with Windows 10 and dual booting with uh, Mac OS. Now one note for those of you that will try this and will add a second SSD to this machine unlike the Xiaomi Notebook Pro that we could use two NVMe uh, SSDs, M.2 SSDs with NVMe. In this particular case, we only have one slot which is already occupied with a NVMe SSD. The second slot is a M.2 SATA SSD and not a M.2 NVMe. So just have that in mind, uh, you will have to choose a SSD like the WD Green or WD Blue and not like the WD Black. As you guys can see on images, it will not fit. So uh, for those of you that are used to this kind of thing, you will know. For those of you that don't, just pay attention. You will have to order M.2 SATA uh, SSD. Now, in terms of what's working and what's not working, right out of the bat, it's really similar to the Xiaomi Notebook Pro. Now, the dedicated graphics, the NVIDIA MX150, it's not working under Mac OS. So, if you want to play any games, I would suggest to just boot with Windows and use Mac OS for any other productivity like Final Cut and so on and so forth. The other thing that it's also not working is the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. But for that, we have a simple fix, which is to use a USB dongle. In my particular case, I'm only using Wi-Fi, but there are uh, dongles that have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on the same one so that we only lose one USB port. Now, with these exceptions, everything else is working great, at least what I found so far. Now, it's not perfect, and just to take that out of your head, but it's pretty good for what it is and for the price and for the performance and quality of this laptop. Now, starting with the trackpad in terms of my feedback, what I can say is that it's not as good as we have seen on the Xiaomi Notebook Pro, but it can be used. Now, what I mean is that in terms of sensitivity and in terms of the usage itself, especially for those that are used to a Mac or a real Mac, I would say that it's just not the same. It's completely 
different now we have everything ready on the Mac and right over here we don't we can't use two ge two finger gestures for example or three finger gestures so it's different the sensitivity it's different it can be used but it's not the same. If you ask me, hey Robert, what about the Xiaomi Notebook Pro? I would say that the trackpad on that computer is much more compatible with Mac OS. So the sensitivity, although it's not the same as a Mac, is better than what we have on the uh, Notebook Air. Nonetheless, for the basic usage for everyday tasks, we can use the trackpad just fine. It's just not the same as a Mac. Now in terms of the keyboard, all the keys work with the exception of some function keys. Now, starting with the sound, we will see that volume up, down and mute will work fine. Screen brightness keys will not work under Mac OS. Even when we go to the display settings at this moment, we only have night shift and we cannot change the screen brightness. Now on the Notebook Pro, we could in this one here at this moment not. Let's see with the software and if there's any fix or not. By the way, in terms of resolution, what I can say is that the maximum resolution here will be 1080 at 60 Hertz and also 1600 by 900 and 1280 by 720 or HD resolution. Now moving on with the F10, uh, which will turn on and off the keyboard, the backlight, and if turned on, we can just uh, touch any key and then if we uh, leave it for quite some time the lights will go off and once we press any key it will come up again so this works more or less like it does on the Xiaomi Notebook Pro which we don't have the intensity of the light we have just on and off which is fine by me actually and in terms of all other keys they will not work uh, to do anything on Mac OS, only volume up, down, etc, etc, that we covered right now. Now, I also tested it with my 4K display at the back and the results are a bit interesting as always. Now, through the USB Type-C connection, we could only get 1080 resolution at 60 Hz, but I did find out a really interesting feature, which is this Notebook Air actually accepts power through the USB C connection uh, to the display itself, which the Xiaomi Notebook Pro did not. So here's a change that the Notebook Air has uh, in favor, but on the other hand, only a maximum 1080 resolution. Now, on the other hand, when we switch to HDMI connection, what we can get is 2560 by 1440 or Quad HD resolution at 60 Hz, which is better or exactly the same as we found on the Xiaomi Notebook Pro. But of course, the HDMI cable will not charge the laptop, so we will need to connect a USB Type-C cable to uh, charge this laptop. Now, in terms of performance, guys, I just finished uh, putting up Mac OS right over here and I finished a few days ago or a week or two I can't recall when I did upload the video the Xiaomi Notebook Pro But what I will be doing next and doing other things at the same time is Comparisons in terms of performance Final Cut Pro 10 some benchmarks and some tools that we can use and of course comparing also just out of curiosity with this machine that I've got right over here and also with the MacBook Pro and probably my Mac Mini in terms of some comparisons and so on and so forth so that you guys can have an idea but really quickly what I can say in terms of my personal opinion regarding this computer and the Xiaomi Notebook Pro for those of you that are looking for an interesting machine at an affordable price with a great build quality that has Windows 10 as its main operating system and Mac OS as a bonus then this is something to consider because in terms of price we are talking about a third of the price of a MacBook Pro like the one that I've got. I'm talking about the 13 inches. And if we go to the Notebook Pro from Xiaomi, we are talking also about one third of the price of a MacBook Pro 15 inches. So this is something that each one of you guys will have to decide if it's worth it or not. If you are going to use Windows uh, for gaming, for example, and then Mac OS to uh, use some tools of productivity like Final Cut Pro and so on and so forth. And this is something that we can't say yes or no uh, immediately. It's something that we really have to think about it, see the pros and the cons, because honestly, they are not perfect. But above what I do find 
acceptable. And that is it guys. Hope that you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed installing macOS on this machine and macOS on the Xiaomi Notebook Pro are challenging projects but really fun to do. Hope that you guys enjoyed and if it was useful don't forget to leave that thumbs up. My name is Roberto George and I'll see you guys on the next one.